think what I'm taking really personally is how this reflects on us as a culture. I mean, this happened, and I think this is a great wake-up call for artists and for people on the left, liberals, anyone, because our issues need to be communicated. Same with Republicans, you know? We have to, like, talk about it. It's all, like, repressed. Like, we don't want to talk about politics. We don't want to, you know, make people feel uncomfortable. A lot of the people, like, who probably voted for Trump, who I've been talking with, uh, like, in my family. A lot of their comments have been more about, we're not bad people for who we voted for, and I think that's really interesting because I think condoning someone like Trump shows to me that those people don't care about how you're supposed to respect women or how you're supposed to respect like a super diverse country and I don't think everyone's racist but I think that a lot of people experience way different things and a lot of white people like don't consider themselves racist when they are. It's like hurtful to me what happened because I just thought that I think a lot of Americans have great morals. Things that he said like I think we should question and it's just weird to me that a lot of people don't agree with that, and I think that that's really upsetting. Like how he's on trial for rape, I don't know what's going on with that, and even tiptoeing around sexual assault, I just don't know how, uh, I just don't know how this happened, I guess. I just am like so dumbfounded um, and embarrassed. I mean, that's what it is, I'm just embarrassed. I think a lot of people are upset, and it's kind of nice to talk to people that who, like, who are upset, but there's also half the country that's probably really joyous. And I've just been thinking a lot about engaging with that part of the, the country because I'm just so dumbfounded in a way that I want to be able to en enlighten myself because if that's what people want, then I want to know why they want that. I think we're really spoiled living in a city and we live in this bubble of thousands of people that aren't like us or look like us and we take time to like understand these stories a lot of the country isn't, you know? I mean, a lot of my family, it's, you know, it's like a microcosm of the country. You have to be like really patient because I want to like engage with people who don't agree with me because I think that that makes my values stronger and like makes me more articulate. Part of me just wants to like move to like fucking Southern Kentucky and like teach some kids how to play kickball or something and I can like engage with these people and their parents. I honestly feel like art in the time of like weird shift is not really for us. It's more um, for those people who are gonna be looking back on the times. So it's just about like continuing to do it because people are gonna look back on this time and I think they're gonna be really eager to like see what all of us were thinking. A lot of crazy shit's gone down in history and a lot of really cool things have come out of that and if something can come of it, I hope that some shit does get broken and I hope everyone's life gets a little rattled.